Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're back at you with another tool video. This one is coming out of our favorite store, or one of our favorite stores, uh, Harbor Freight, and it's the Pittsburgh 32 piece screwdriver set. And this one comes in a case. And funny thing, uh, we'll get into it when I open this up, but they are probably a couple of gimmick tools in this in this tool in this uh screwdriver set which is kind of funny okay so this is item number six one two five nine and it says heat treated carbon steel shanks 32 piece screwdriver set soft grip tpr handles I'm not sure what TPR stands for. If you guys know, uh, leave me something in the comments. Heat treated carbon steel assorted screwdrivers. And this is cardboard cover slides out. And here's the case. It's one of those uh, molded plastic cases that uh, some people are not too happy about but we'll check it out and here are some of the features i'll just leave that there because i don't want to read all of that and if you want to take a minute and look at that you're more you're more than welcome to do that and this is just a look inside and where this is made the most important question is this is made in china no surprises okay uh they're having a coupon for this yeah harbor freight is bringing back coupons the only one that's missing is the one everybody wants the 20 percent off coupon they haven't brought that back yet but they're kind of sliding in uh these coupons now um uh, not as good as the coupons i think from you know a year or two ago but still still okay uh i guess inflation you know uh, is uh, in effect so they're not going to be as good deals as what was previous but this one I think usually sells for $8.99 and right now I think with the coupon you can get it for $6.99 and this is lifetime warranty let's, let's open it up and see what's inside and it has these latches and I know a lot of people don't like them because eventually if you use it a lot uh, they may come apart there at the seam you know plastic weakens sometimes so and and this seam here also from uh, the case the case seam if you use it a lot also that weakens too and might come apart also uh, this is the case. It's a pretty, I won't say big case, but I guess it's too big for the camera. Uh, here's the layout of the case. This is what it looks like. There's some bits over here. The main screwdrivers are on one side, and then you have this whole set of uh, miniature screwdrivers or fine screwdrivers. You have like a T-handle here and a circuit tester and a kind of uh you can switch the positions on this one like this is i categorize this as one of the gimmick tools but let me take this all out of the case so you can so you can see it better okay i'll be back in about a second okay we're back uh this is what it looks like when it's all spread out and out of the case and uh you get your regular screwdrivers you get phillips heads you get one two three three phillips heads and one two three uh slotted screwdrivers and these phillips uh let me go with the handle let me start with the handle the handles look like they're rubber all the way through there's no hard uh plastic part in them maybe this little uh 
black part here but they're all rubbery and they're pretty good grip you know they seem like they are a decent grip but um the thing is is that these uh, i don't know the tips kind of look not so great uh they look like not the highest grade of uh of screwdrivers like the tips are painted you can tell it's it doesn't look like it's that that flat black kind of coating that helps with gripping uh fasteners i think they just painted it that way to look that way and you can see this is a one third by six and the numbers look a little bit like you know haphazardly applied and this is how they are connected in there i'm not sure if this that's a hard piece in there but this whole this whole handle part is it's pretty grippy rubber which is not too bad it's it's really positive grip on these uh let me show you one of the phillips oh, yeah, i'll show you the big phillips and this is what the big phillips looks like you see it's like kind of some shoddy machine marks there uh i don't know this set seems to get good reviews <clears throat> but you know you always got to take reviews on any of these sites with a grain of salt uh i don't know for seven dollars it doesn't seem too bad there are a couple of gimmick tools in here and we'll get to those in a second here's a t-handle the t-handle has like a little pocket there i guess you could put some bits this is a uh it holds bits uh again doesn't ins inspire a lot of confidence this t-handle i'm not sure how strong it is but from the looks of it it looks kind of not the greatest let's put a bit in it it's magnetic yeah holds and I guess it'd be okay for like if you don't use it a lot and you don't have to torque things open too much I guess this will work you know maybe for light duty but and there's a look at the plastic of the handle just doesn't look like the greatest but again at the price point it's uh, you know you have to take that into account here are the mini screwdrivers again the paint job you can see is kind of bubbly on the tips here they just like slap the paint on it looks like these these uh, ends rotate I guess so uh, they rotate against your palm when you're just uh, twisting things by finger here's one of the slotted and they did come with uh, some Phillips and they did come with two two torques but the only thing about the torques is they uh, it's a 20 I think and a 15 which are pretty popular but I guess the most popular one would be a 10 <coughs> excuse me a 10 torques would be i guess more popular but they didn't include the 10 torques they did include 15 and 20. and here's an assortment of bits uh two four six eight ten twelve fourteen bits uh some pz bits here's a pz1 and some hex bits Here's a H5 and the Phillips bits, Phillips 3, assortment of Phillips, an assortment of PZs and hexes, and an assortment of 
the slotted bits. That one says four, I'm assuming four millimeter. And it comes with this circuit tester. Again, this doesn't inspire much confidence. The circuit tester looks pretty. Open it up, looks pretty <laughs> flimsy. Can I open it up? I have to pop it open, it doesn't screw open. But there it says 100 to 500 volts. I don't know. Doesn't look like the greatest, but, and this is insulated here. They put some plastic insulation there. It just looks like some plastic tubing, but they say it goes up to 500 volts. But would you take your chances with this in 500 volts? I don't know. Okay, and they included this thing. Um, not sure if if you guys have experience with something like this. Uh, leave me something in the comments. Not sure what if this is usable or a gimmick tool. It looks like a kind of bendable uh, hex bit holder. Uh, here's the the bit holder. Guess it goes in there, and I guess if you had to get a fastener at a weird angle, this would help. But but this is plastic here. I don't see any metal holding it together, so. I would think it would have to be a light fastener. You wouldn't want to uh, try to torque this. And it doesn't spin. But still, you wouldn't want to, if it's all plastic, you wouldn't want to, like, use this on a rusted on fastener because I'm assuming that this plastic is just going to fall apart. Uh, but uh, for something light, maybe it will work and this is you can twist it and turn it i guess to get into those uh crevices which are hard to get into and it is magnetic yep and that's the tip one of the gimmick tool and the gimmick tool of this set is the hex bit driver and they painted it blue i don't know why and you would just look at it and be like oh that's just a hex uh it's just a bit driver and you put your bits in there and it's magnetic but you pull it out a little bit and the magnet follows the bit and there's a telescoping magnet inside the bit driver. I guess you can pick up small stuff. Uh, the magnet isn't that powerful. Maybe for little things, fasteners, in a pinch, this will work pretty good. It's not that long. It's not that long. It's about maybe, let me get my ruler out real quick. Uh, this is about 11 inches from here to the tip. So about, about 11 inches. No, not long, but still, uh, I guess in a pinch, if you needed to get something out of a crevice, uh, you don't have to bust out your retrieval tool. You can use the bit driver. So yeah. All in all, for seven dollars, <clears throat> for seven dollars is not bad. Uh, you know, it comes with a case, and you know, if you just want to carry the case and put it under, under, put it in your trunk or under the seat of your car, you know, in case you need it for something, and you don't want just a bunch of screwdrivers floating around, <clears throat> this might be something. The quality isn't the best, but 
in a pinch I'm sure that this will suffice here's a look at the tip again the tip doesn't look too bad looks pretty decently formed but like I said for if you go right now you can get this set for seven dollars uh, that's all I have for now okay guys until next time